Hello, and welcome to the Truth Within podcast, where we will be sharing precious teachings and divine feminine wisdom that's being remembered for our time. I'm your host, Jo Yule, and each week I'll be in conversations with Dee Delaney, author of the Truth Within trilogy. In this week's podcast, we're going back to school as we explore the law of karma and our purpose for being on earth today. We will be asking why we're here on earth today and what lessons that we need to learn and how do we get off the karmic wheel of suffering uh, and move to a place of living in flow and divine communion. You can subscribe to our podcast through sacredstoriesmedia.com or search The Truth Within on iTunes. Connect directly with Dee via her website at ddelaney.co.uk and you can follow me, Jo Yule, on at Reset Rebel Productions on Instagram. Um, if you're interested in creating your own podcasts, I produce creative audio for brands, businesses and provide digital content across the board. So, Dee, welcome back. Hi, Jo. Here we are again. And um, I think it's lovely to be surrounded by such beautiful nature. And you can kind of probably hear a little bit of the crickets and cicadas buzzing away in the background, that beautiful vibration infusing this podcast that's just started up. Because today's show is about this sort of analogy of Earth um, being a gigantic school, which, as we just mentioned in the last podcast, uh, some of you might remember that uh, that could just sort of fill you with a bit of dread, really, going back to school. Um, but some of us have had good experiences, um, and some of us really have not had such uh, wonderful times at school. But in reality, it does seem that we're all here um, for our own individual purpose, which is specific to each and every one of us. So can you explain to our listeners why you're using this description of Earth as like a great big cosmic school, which I love? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I think it's we most people would have been to school, so it's something we relate to. And there is no denying that we come to Earth with a very specific task to learn to learn about ourselves and to experience life and life will give us what we need so that we can learn our lessons so we learn about anger and jealousy and love and joy through the experience that life brings us and we feel these emotions through the physical body and we experience these as thoughts through the mind and through action so and like school we have to pass each grade and learn each lesson before we can move up to the next this is how life is and this is how karma works and those who have an understanding of how life and karma works will do their best (laughs) to get off this karmic wheel because nobody wants to keep learning the lesson of anger or jealousy or whatever it is you come to earth to learn because karma will give it to you gently and then it will give it to you a little bit harder and then it will hit you with it right between the eyes until it's literally there is no avoiding and uh, what you need to learn and so you you kind of have to understand that you will be tested in life and the more times we fail the harder the lesson is and the more suffering we will experience and this just gets so frustrating until one day the penny drops and we make the choice to change that's how karma absolutely works and we pass the test and we make changes in our lives, and we move on to the next lesson, if there is a next lesson. But for most of us, there will be many lessons in this lifetime. And that just is how life is. We have to keep evolving, learning our lessons, making the changes in our lives, or we are going to suffer. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's just sort of a, a brow, good old brow beating that you just can't really escape. It's um, one of those, yeah, quite unsettling, irritating facts of life that this stuff comes back again and again and again in many different f- forms, really, until you're willing to surrender and, yeah, make that change, which, you know, 
as humans, sometimes we just never learn our lessons. It takes <laughs> us a really long time to actually, yeah, man up really and uh, decide to make those changes. So I totally get where you're coming from with that. And I think, you know, it can just get really fr- frustrating as well um, when you almost know that that lesson has come back in a different form just to completely do your head in uh, again. Um and you just kind of feel like you're on a bit of a treadmill, really, on that karmic wheel. And I think, you know, you know when you're making that same mistake again. Um, you really, really know. And that's the worst part of it, isn't it? You know, you just, it's like, here we go again. And um, I think there's a deep longing inside of us that's sort of trying to get help. And it's subtle. and But the sensation is getting stronger and stronger. And you get closer to finally making those changes. But it's maybe what people, as I just said feel like is this moment of surrender when they finally say I actually can't do this anymore I mean you know even things like addiction or any of those things that come into our lives to make us continue down a path that we don't want to be um, experiencing it's it's hard to make those changes and I think a lot of suffering is involved before we get to the point of no return when we say this is it I'm done Um, and you've talked before in our previous podcasts um, about how you were stuck in your own personal groundhog day, this sort of fear and self-loathing. And I think when you get to that point, when you're totally sick of yourself almost, can you maybe explain why that is? I think it is harsh, isn't it? It, it feels really harsh, but the way we live our lives is, is so governed by our personality and our character and our minds and we sometimes just the mind just doesn't want to listen to the heart (laughs) and there's a stubbornness with me I hands up Uh, there's an absolute stubbornness to want to learn the lesson whereas my heart is you know literally pouring out this for god's sake listen up girl so it's it's a really tricky one and you know this gigantic school on earth has some really funny rules and I'm a terrible breaker of rules (laughs) I've had this little mantra that rules are there to be broken (laughs) so I push against life and when you go up against the, the the natural laws of the universe you know you get yourself into a whole lot of trouble and that's just part of my character and I've kind of accepted that now and I think what I do now is when I when I find myself on this karmic treadmill and I go here we go again I don't I don't I don't suffer because I'm gentle with it because I know I'm in a process of learning so free will is one thing you know we all know the rules of the game we all know the rules of the game in our heart but we choose to ignore them and then the second thing is we come to earth without any memory we we come to earth not realizing who we are and why we're here and that just seems bonkers it's like a, a crazy mind game but before we reincarnate into this life we do review our past life lessons and our previous experiences on earth and we're shown our book of life in the afterlife which i talk about in my second book the truth is the art of being So we get to see all the lessons we've mastered and we tick them off and then we get to review what lessons we want to learn in this life that we're coming into and we make a contract with the universe to come again into a new life to repeat the lessons that we haven't learned from previous experiences on earth. But as I say, there's a twist. We come into life and our memory bank is erased, and we don't know why we're here, and what those lessons are, and and to me, it it seems like the system's a little bit flawed, or whoever's in charge of the book, or up there, has a very good sense of (laughs) humour. Well, thank God he does. (laughs) Yeah, it's true, isn't it? It just seems like it doesn't make sense, Mm -hmm. but we're here, and, and, and we're here to learn more, and more, and more. I kind of struggle with all of this. Yeah, it kind of makes me question why um, a loving, generous, patient and kind creator would sort of do this to us, Um, which sounds kind of ridiculous. But why would we come to Earth and make life so difficult for ourselves? 
Yeah, but it's not the creator who's stubborn, it's us. <laughs> because we ignore the rules. Life is meant to be simple and joyous and loving, but we make it so complicated. And the thing is, is when we stay on the path, when we listen to the heart and the guidance that comes, life really is simple. And I think that's what I, I witness and I observe with myself time and time again. I actually only ever suffer when I ignore the signals that come from the heart. And when I go off with the mind and I start to think that I know better and I start to think that I'm in control, that's when I I create trouble for myself, but when I really stop and tune into my own inner truth, that's never wrong. The heart is never wrong. And but why why do we come with our memory wiped? Well, there is what we need to understand is there is a lot of wisdom to be learnt in learning our lessons, not just for ourselves, but You know, there's a gift in being able to share that with others around us. You know, we become like a beacon of light and a great avatar for change in the world. And that's that's a really beautiful thing, you know. And I think I know so many people, some of the nicest people who are on this path, but they've had really troubled lives, real struggle earlier on. And in some ways, because of that struggle, they are so bright and so light and so almost willing to help others. It kind of feeds the human heart and gives humanity this courage to make changes, to make the world a better place for us all. And this is kind of the great work that we're all being challenged to do for ourselves and for the earth. We come We need to learn our lessons and we need to share those lessons with each other and transmute all the negative stories and behaviour into love. And we do this through the heart. And this opens the cosmic heart of the universal heart and this just makes the world a much better place to be. I found, I'm curious then about this thought that if we sort of do this work and not only that we benefit and other people also benefit i think that's intriguing and um yeah what what can you shed some more light on that yes yeah, so the ancient philosophy all ancient philosophies are rooted in this law of karma and karma teaches us that all life is connected and interdependent so what comes around goes around And if we are truly all things to all beings, then when we show compassion, forgiveness and love for ourselves, we shine these virtues on others also. So karma teaches us well and it shows us that when we evolve and learn our lessons and we remember who we are, we become less judgmental of others and we all rise, it's kind of that famous saying as one woman rises we all rise together and it's so true it 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 just is we are connected and when we learn to better ourselves there is no denying that we can make a fundamental shift for the way we are and the way the world is it it goes back to be the change you want to see in the world because when you change yourself you see it in the world too yeah, I think we were talking about that earlier on in the podcast series. That exact phrase came to mind that when you, you know, see something, you believe it. And also, I think when you really believe it, then then you actually end up being able to see it. And I think that that's really, really true. I think it's all coming down to being willing to make those changes, being aware enough to want to make change. And I think lessons are often learned the hard way. But when you do learn our lessons from one life to the next and bring this wisdom back to source that's when it really starts to kick in but I think how does this work in our minds and bodies then so we are more than just our physical body 
there are many layers to who we are. So the etheric body contains the information about our physical health. The emotional body is where our feelings reside. The mental body contains our thoughts, our ideas and our mental processes. The astral body then acts as a bridge between us on earth and the spiritual realm. We have a celestial layer, which is how we communicate with spirit. And it connects us to the feelings of unconditional love. And there's the causal body, which is like a great big cosmic egg that wraps around us and contains all the other layers. And this is our link to the divine and the oneness of the universe. So we are many, many, many layers to our being here on earth and beyond earth. And when we die, the etheric body remains present for three days after death. And this is really important to know, and I talk about this in my second book, because you can talk, the dead can hear, you know. And this etheric body absorbs all the information from the physical and mental body, and it returns this back into the ether, so back into source, if you like, until it's time to reincarnate into another body. And when we reincarnate again, those who are awakened to their I am presence, will remember this wisdom from past lives and can use this wisdom to help the rest of humanity. There are people now walking amongst us on earth who have wisdom of ascended masters and they're here right now on earth to be of service to humanity and for the greater good of all. A lovely, yeah, what a lovely thought. And I think, you know, gives me a lot of hope for the future. And I think, as we said in the introduction, the work that you do, Dee, allows you to tap into this past wisdom. Also, that you can remember it for our time. Um, so thank you for going into those depths of your being and sharing these win- wisdoms and insights. I think the school analogy is pretty clear and may help people really get a sense of what the bigger purpose is with their lives. And it's certainly given me a little bit of clarity today. So on that note, is there a final message that you'd like to leave us with today? There is. Please know that our purpose on earth is to love without remorse and to bring this wisdom back to source. Thank you so much, Dee. And to our wonderful listeners for tuning in today, you can find the Truth Within podcast at sacredstoriesmedia.com on iTunes or from your favourite podcast provider. And you can also connect with Dee via her social media pages on Instagram and Facebook at ddelaney01 and find out about Dee's books on her website, www.ddelaney.co. UK or connect with me, Joe Yule, via my podcast services at Reset Rebel Productions. Big love until next time.